Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. Uh, today we continue with our topic of discussion and the topic is classification 2, a form 3 biology topic. So today we'd like us to discuss the second subdivision in the division spermatophyta. Remember we talked about uh, division spermatophyta having been divided into two subdivisions. There is the gymno spermophyta and there is the angio spermophyta. So we're going to discuss the angio spermophyta. Uh, basically, uh, the characteristics The characteristics of the angiospermophyta, what we uh, commonly referred to as the angiosperms, uh, these are the, uh, the plants whose seeds are enclosed within the fruit. The seeds are enclosed within the fruit, basically within the fruit wall, like the mangoes, the avocados, and those examples of those plants. So basically we are saying that uh, seeds are enclosed within the fruit wall. Seeds are enclosed within the fruit wall. You can have examples, e.g. mangoes, avocados, etc. Uh, angiospermophyta, they are bisexual. They are bisexual. That means that uh, they contain both sexes. We have both the male and the female parts of the plant within the same plant, within the same plant, uh, they are flower-bearing, they are flower-bearing, the so-called flowering plants, the xylem contains both the vessels and tracheids while the phloem consists of both the sieve tubes and companion cells. So they have companion cells, unlike the previous subdivision. So these are subdivision. So they have, the xylem has both the sieve tubes and the companion cells, unlike the previous subdivision, which was gymnospermophyta, that had no companion cells. So the Gymnospermophyta had no companion cells, but the angiospermophyta has companion cells. Uh, the other characteristic is that they show double fertilization. Uh, they show double fertilization. Which occurs after the growth of the pollen tube. So after pollination, there is the growth of the pollen tube, and that pollen tube is the one that results or that leads to double fertilization. 
So these are the plants that uh, have those particular characteristics. Then the subdivision angiospermophyta is divided into two classes and that's why we have now class dicotyledonae and the class monocotyledonae. So subdivision angiospermophyta is divided into two classes. We have one dicotyledonae. Dicotyledonae, and then there is monocotyledonae. So that is what we simply call the monocots and the dicots. But in terms of taxonomy, uh, the classes are dicotyledonae and monocotyledonae. So let's uh, discuss the first class. And this is uh, dicotyledonae. The class dicotyledonae. And within this class, uh, we have examples include the various legumes that we have, e.g. beans, peas, etc. So mainly the legumes are in the class dicotyledonae. The characteristics As the term dicotyledonae is that their seeds consist of two cotyledons, hence the word dicotyledonae. Uh, in terms of the, the leaves, the leaves have network veins. The leaves have network veins and are broad. Have network veins and are broad. In terms of the roots, they have a taproot system. They have the taproot system. In terms of the flowers, we say that floral parts are in groups of fours or fives. Are in groups of fours or fives or they are multiples. Or they are multiples. Or they are multiples. Eh? So, we can uh, cl uh, classify dicotyledonae in terms of the seeds, which consist of two cotyledons, leaves that have network veins and are broad. They have a taproot system. Their floral parts are in groups of four or five. Let's say five petals or four petals, four sepals or five sepals. Those are the floral uh, parts. Uh, we can also distinguish them in terms of the vascular bundles that uh, the xylem and the phloem are uh, specify this more and say that uh, in the stem the xylem or basically the vascular bundles
are arranged in a ring around the pith. So their vascular bundles are uh, arranged in a ring around the stem. Then in the root, the xylem is star-shaped. The xylem is star-shaped with the phloem alternating at the arms. So in the root, the xylem is star-shaped with the phloem alternating at the arms. In the stem, the vascular bundles are arranged in a ring around the pith. So basically those are the characteristics of the class Dicotyledonae, which is uh, one of the two classes within the subdivision Angiospermophyta. So we'll have an assignment on this. So the first question, name two classes in the subdivision Angiospermophyta and two state five classes, uh, state five characteristics of class Dicotyledonae. So we are going to stop there. Until next time, goodbye.